yeah it's ap y'all you already know and the summertime traditionally y'all is a season now listen we, we living in some some unconventional weird times right now but technically y'all when things is normal and things is going pretty smoothly the summertime is a season to either be single in a situation with somebody you know a situation is one of those things that you know requires a little whatever whatever you know whatever your fancy is <laughs> And also, it's a time to either be in a relationship. One of those three, either single, in a situation, or in a relationship. And from the looks of it, y'all, from the looks of it, unfortunately, it looks like your girl, Keisha Cole, has broken up with her very, 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 very young boyfriend, which is the father of their child as well. I got the scoop on that, y'all. It's your boy. All right, now here's the scoop from my sources. My reliable sources told me that Keisha, Keisha Cole, y'all, who's 37 years old, just broke up with her very younger, considerably younger boyfriend, who's 23 years old, Nico. Now, Keisha posted some very cryptic and some very weird Instagram posts the other day, and it was basically talking about how, you know, she had been kind of did a little dirty in the situation, in a relationship kind of a situation. So people automatically assumed she was talking about her particular situation with her boyfriend. And her boyfriend, Nico, y'all, what he did was he basically went on IG and he just like removed all of the posts with him and her on Instagram, all of the pictures and everything. So that led everybody to start thinking that, you know, they no longer together. Now, as I stated, Keisha is 37 and he's 23 years old. So let's do the math, y'all. Let's do the math, y'all. That's a 14 year age difference. Now, fans of Keisha, fans of Keisha Cole, Keisha Cole fans were never really 100% supportive of the relationship from the beginning, from the gate. They always felt a little leery about the situation. They always felt that, you know, he was very younger. He was, he was way too young to be dealing with somebody like her. And she was way too old to be dealing with somebody like him. Because when they met two or three years ago, if he's 23 now, that means he was 21, 20 years old. And she was in her mid thirties. Now listen, y'all. And, and plus, plus the, the heartbreaking thing about it, y'all, is that they do have a child together, a very young child who's about a year, year and a half old in the situation. Now, my quick take on it, my first take is this, y'all. 14 year age difference. Funny thing is, <laughs> can I keep it real, y'all? Listen, can we keep it, can we, can we keep it real, y'all? Listen, my take on the situation is this. Ironically, y'all, full disclosure, I myself was in a Keisha Cole, Nico, Nico kind of a situation about mm, two years ago. I was 38, about to be 39 years old, and I was, you know, dating a young, you know what I mean, young lady who was like 25. And cautionary tale, everything was going beautiful in the beginning. We was in love. We was all shook up. I'm on we should go. <laughs> Everything was going beautiful. We going out to eat, we spending time together, we taking slow walks, holding hands, we in the pizza spot, we in the pizza shop, hugged up, you know what I mean? On some, I love you girl, I love you too, hey. We on that bay type, you know what I mean? But a couple weeks into it, about a month into it, y'all, I started to see some characteristics that, you know, was kind of like her showing her age. I mean, the girl was 25 years old, so we can't go into situations thinking all the time that just because we connect with somebody that we supposed to be with that person. You know what I'm saying? A 23 year old is still gonna be a 23 year old at the end of the day. A 25 year old is still gonna be a 25 year old. So we can't expect them to just, whether male or female, just skyrocket and jump up to our age just because we are feeling them mentally or sexually, y'all. Let's just keep it a thousand straight up. Now, situation didn't turn out the way I wanted to. A couple months, we ended up breaking up, kind of messy, but it's all good, you know what I'm saying? I still got love for her, you know what I mean? She was young, you know what I mean? I was, you know what I'm saying, I was still, I was still learning my ropes, you know what I'm saying? And it's all good because listen, we're never gonna be a perfect, we, we're still evolving, y'all, that's what I'm saying. We're never gonna be the, the, the person the ultimate person, no matter if we're 20 years old, 50 years old, or 80 years old, God is gonna make sure that he's still evolving us and we're still growing. So, you know, you live and you learn. Now on the flip side of that, y'all, over the last year, year and a half, full disclosure, full, 
We family, full disclosure, full disclosure, come on. Over the last year or so, I've literally had, it's the flip side of that, older women come at me on some, hey, listen, like straight up, I'm trying to see what's up with you. Like, I'm just literally like minding my own business, you know what I'm saying? At the house of worship, at church, focusing on God, you know, a couple situations popped off where I've had, you know, older females come at me on some, listen, you know what I'm saying? Aggressively, listen, boy, come here. Put me in a headlock. I'm trying to holler at you. What's up? And I, you know, not only was it a turn off because I'm in, you know, the specific house. Of, I'm in the sanctuary trying to give my undivided attention and focus to God. But it's just that, you know, when you're still a young guy like me, you know, what I'm saying 41 years old, I'm not necessarily looking for a woman who's 55, 56 to, you know what I'm saying, be at the house chilling, you know what I'm saying, watching a Netflix or watching something on Amazon Prime or Hulu with, or, or, or HBO Max. I'm not trying to do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm still young, I'm still trying to, you know what I'm saying, experience, you know, the birth of life and the birth of kids, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that a, a woman that's in her later 50s can't give you everything you want except for kids. But, you know what I'm saying, just be careful because a lot of times, yo, we get in these situations to where we deal with people for financial reasons and sexual reasons, and it just turns out messy. So just to have a woman take care of me because she's older, cook me a good meal, take care of my bills, it's not worth dealing with the headache of the, the pressure that comes with that kind of a situ situation. So let's, it's, it's, it's just all about finding your way, finding your niche and what works for you and make sure you know what I'm saying? You always put God in it and have God basically tell you what to do. Because if we go off on our own, if we go off on our own emotions, our own minds, our own thoughts, and our own, God forbid, our own sexual emotions, bruh, we're going to be all over the place, bouncing like a ping pong all over the place. So I say that to say this, just be careful.